Oi! Hey! We're back at the beer garage, by the way. I, I, you know what? Let me say also, I apologize for this setup. You guys all know the old setup I used to have back at the house, back with the big white table. I'm gonna, I, I gotta fucking problem solve and figure out how to get that back. Because I'm not a fan of this current setup. I do apologize. I'm making it work regardless. But yeah, no, we're back with a brand new beer, and this is a special one. Let me go get it. All right, so we're going all the way to Captain Lawrence Brewing Co. All the way in Elmsford, New York. And they got something I've never seen before by these guys called Pame Salavage. This is a sour ale aged in um, oak barrels with apples. So this is, again, with your bourbon barrel. Depending on how they did it, you can get an oak, you can get a vanilla, you can even get a fucking lemon curd, you can get a green apple flavor. Who the hell knows? It all depends on how they brewed it, right? A little bit about the beer on the bottle, just to inform you guys, we got an American sour ale aged in French oak floaters. Oh, yeah, so it's going to be almost like on the wild ale, farmhouse ale side of things. It's brewed with New York grown apples, sourced locally from Harvest Moon Orchard in North Salem. Oh, I know exactly where that is. I grew up around there. Bright and acidic with notes of apple and funk. Oh, yeah. So just a gist of this, I'm guessing this is going to be a little bit like a, f a wild ale, farmhouse ale, without the Britannomyces. And I do have to clarify, this is a sponsorship over from Gulliver's Wine in Danbury, Connecticut. Go check them out. Surprising selection. They they kindly gifted me this bottle to review. So it is a sponsorship. Yeah, let's crack it into a glass and see what we get. Got a cork bottle. Ho! Oh. Oh. oh! Fuck. No, 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 no! Into the glass, into the glass, into the glass. Hold on, I'm not using my beer glass. What am I doing? All right, got my handy dandy beer glass. Shout out IPA on Instagram for the glass. All right, let's top her off. Please don't spill. Oh, look at that. That's hugging the fucking rim of the glass there. Oh, oh, I got the scent. Oh, let's get the scent a little deeper here. Hold on. Oh, 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 that is, how is that not a farmhouse hell? How is that not a farmhouse hell? Oh, I definitely get those oak barrels in there. It just provides such a nice warmth on the scent in there with your tart apples. It just, it just brings out such a nice body to it. Beautiful smell, beautiful color. Look at that. It's like, it's like a dark apple juice. Let's dive in and get the taste. Cheers, guys. Whoa! Wow. Wow. That sucks the moisture right out of your mouth. Replacing it with apple flavor. Oh, wow. I need another sip. Uh, that is fantastic. It's almost like the barrel aging has made the apple taste baked and spiced. And like I said, it sucks the moisture right out of your mouth. It's, it's just perfectly tart perfectly dry with such seasonal apple flavors in there and then it just leaves off your tongue leaving you refreshed and wanting more it's so refreshing it's so drinkable yep bottle conditioned yeah again d the guy at the liquor store d the guy who owns gulliver's said that this has been sitting in the back for a couple of years so this is definitely aged very well do another sip Oh, nah, bah, nah. right off the bat, just punches you up right in the back of the tongue. Yeah, let's rate it. Color for a barrel aged sour. That is, oh, oh, guys, that's like a 9.5 out of 10. 9.5 out of 10. Let's get the scent. Oh, scent, I'm going to do a solid, strong 9 out of 10. And on the flavor, Oh, I'm, I'm, oh, wow. I love a good fruited sour. And hey, especially if it tastes like a farmhouse ale, 
Without it, it doesn't even have Britannomyces. And they've still somehow nailed that. I'm gonna go with 9.3. 9.3 out of 10. These guys, yeah, Captain Lawrence. I've had a lot of their beers. I kind of just thought they were regular, you know, mids. But hey, what the fuck? I didn't expect to see this. Thank you, D, again. Thank you, Gulliver's Wine in Danbury for gifting, gifting me this beer to review. And if you're in the Danbury, Connecticut area, go check out Gulliver's Wine and Liquor. They have a crazy, crazy selection of your everyday stuff or your exclusive stuff. And again, it's not your run of the mill shop. You're going to find some stuff that you can only find like in maybe one place house ever. Um, like this. Like, hey, I've never seen this before. Good luck finding it. But yeah, that was my review. Pomme Salvage by Captain Lawrence. So yeah, I'm going to go finish the rest of this. You go enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you back at the beer garage.